Hey guys, it's Sky here. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I have not posted in a really, really, really long time. I've just been really busy with a lot of stuff going on, which I'll be excited to share soon. But I thought I might just do a quick Q&A video. But this time on the topic of my time on Disney Channel. I know a lot of you guys always ask. If you guys want to know more about my time and my experience on the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's try to get this to like 20K likes and see. So I asked you guys to ask me the questions on Twitter. If you don't follow my Twitter, it's right here at Sky Jackson. So I'm just gonna scroll through them and look. Do you regret your time with Disney? Because some of the people who came from Disney in the past kind of regret. They have traumatic experiences. I wouldn't necessarily say I regret it at all. I think that it definitely gave me a lot of experience and so many different opportunities. You know, I was an actress before this, before Disney Channel, I was working in New York a lot. I did a few movies, I was in a lot of commercials, all of that. But I felt like, of course, being on the Disney Channel, you gain a bigger audience for yourself. And I definitely think that it did that for me. So, you know, of course, everyone's story is a little bit different and it could be wherever they work and their experiences. But I would say for me personally, I don't necessarily regret it. What is your most favorite memory? It's filming Jesse. Um, I would say my most favorite memories would have to just be anything when we were like off a set. I mean, we had fun on set, but we would really have fun in our dressing rooms or we would play basketball at lunch. It was right at the time where at first Ant Farm was filming and then Liv and Maddie was filming too. And they had a basketball court in the back of their... Um, their, their set so we would always go over there and it was really fun where we worked because at that time there was Liv and Maddie filming there it was us then there was that show Lab Rats which was on Disney XD and then there came a point in time when we started filming Bunk that Casey Undercover started filming on our lot so it was like a bunch of us we all got to see each other it was really really cool um, Kicking It also used to film on our lot so we would always go to that building because they would you know have a basketball court and we would just play so those are like my favorite memories like spending time with each other especially off the set but like still on set but like not on the actual set if you get it like behind the scenes stuff did you ever audition for another role on a popular disney show other than jesse or bunked while you were working for them um no, I didn't actually. Jesse was first and we were just so busy and we knew that the show was gonna keep on getting picked up. So there was really no point for me to audition for another show because um, I was working. So no, I never auditioned for like any other Disney show while I was on the network. Did you fully understand how big what you were doing was considered? And how young you were I think I kind of understand the question I think of course you know being at such a young age I had just turned nine when I got Jesse so that's a really young age and I had to move to another state I'm from New York originally so I moved to LA I didn't have any friends there um, it was a lot going on but I think it was because I was so used to it I was already working in New York I was so used to always being around adults and being in positions like that where you do have to work long hours that it really didn't bother me. So it was a big thing and a lot of kids might not be able to handle it if they were not put in circumstances like that already. But therefore, because I was working before then, it was like fun to me, it didn't feel like work. So yeah, someone said, this is very personal. So sorry if it bothers you. Have you experienced uncomfortable encounters with pedo fans? If so, how often would it be? Um, asking because I saw Chandler Riggs from The Walking Dead talk about creepy adult fans touching him in meet and greets. You know, I did have a couple experiences. Um, I would do a lot of meet and greets at that time when I was filming Jesse, and I think some of Bunked, but mainly Jesse. And I would go to different states, and of course, you know, people want to meet Zuri from Jesse, and it was super fun, like getting to meet all of the younger fans and even like the adults because some of the adults who were the parents of the kids were fans as well. So it was really nice to meet them. But I have had a couple experiences where I was pretty uncomfortable. Um, it could have been like older men. Um, 
I think one time at a meet and greet, like someone like grabbed me, not in like an inappropriate place or anything, but just like grabbed me and they shouldn't have grabbed me. So I've definitely had those experiences, but to me sometimes, you know, it does come with the territory. It comes with what, you know, the job I have. Some people just do weird things and I just kind of have to deal with it, but that's that. Did you wish that you did more Disney movies? Um, I've never been in a Disney Channel movie, but no. I don't wish that I did. Like I said, I was on Jesse and Bunked and I was working, that was seven years of my life. So maybe it could have been cool like in between that time to have done a Disney movie while I was on the channel, but I don't, it's not like I wish I did it. Did people on set sometimes try to create real life drama between you and your fellow co-stars? No. Um, no one on set did that. I don't know if you mean like the people around us, whether it be people on the crew team or whatever. No, it wasn't anything like that because everyone on that set was way older than than anyone. Even Debbie and Cameron, like they were all older people working there. So they were like 30 and above. We had a couple like mid 20s who was like the PAs and stuff like that, but no one did anything to like create drama between all of us. That would be really weird if adults did that. Do you feel like your time was valued enough by the creators of the show you worked on? Workplace challenges of feeling valued? Um, I mean, I think I did feel valued. You know, of course, like you can get into certain things, but I think my time there was pretty fun. Um, no one ever made me feel like really uncomfortable, especially like the creators of the show, producers, they were all really sweet. So I definitely do think my time was valued for sure. Is being a Disney Channel star, well child star, everything it's hyped up to be? Um, yes and no. Mainly no, because people think that when you're on Disney Channel, like you get all these things and you're like this and that and like no. Like honestly, the only free thing we got while working on the Disney Channel was free Disneyland and Disney World tickets. And I think that was, I don't want to say once a year, but they gave us a certain amount of tickets. I can't remember if it was like, let's just say seven for Disney World and seven for Disneyland. But it was like you could use that in a year period, I believe. But it was like once you use your tickets up, you can't go again until like they renew again. So that's really like the only free thing we got. Like I've never been on like a Disney cruise, um, nothing like that. And then when we would end the season, they would give us like a wrap gift, whether it be like a hoodie or whatever they a waffle maker shape with um mickey mouse's ears i don't know but people think that like you get all of this stuff and me and i mean going to disney world and going to disneyland is pretty cool and you get to have a tour guide which is really really nice because you know you're literally going to a park that is created by disney and i was on the disney channel so of course there's gonna be a bunch of kids there and i love meeting my fans but sometimes it can get a little bit hectic in situations like that so it was always nice to have a tour guide with us but um I would say like it's pretty normal like it's not like this big hyped up thing or people make it seem like it's more than what it is I don't know and I don't mean that in a bad way I'm just saying like we did people think we get all these things no we only got that but that was cool for us because it was like okay we don't have to pay for tickets we can invite friends all that fun stuff my kids want to know why did you quit the show bumped okay so I'm gonna explain this because some people get a little bit confused. So the number one thing I'm asked is why was Jesse canceled? Jesse was not canceled. Um, the period where I was on Disney Channel, the most a show would go is four seasons. Three or four seasons, and four seasons if the show was doing extremely well. Jesse, our show was doing extremely well, so it was four seasons. So there's part one to that, it didn't get canceled. Two, when I was on Bunked, I believe me and the original cast members, we only signed a three season deal. And then after that, it was either, if we wanted to be on it, we could, or if not, no. Um, and you know, at that time I was, how old was I? I think I was 16 or 17. And I just really wanted to be able to do more um, when it came to stuff in the industry and different projects. Because you guys have to be, aware that when you're on a show like that you know they have first rights to you which is understandable and normal it's like if you have a regular job um and let's just say you request time to get off 
of that job they can either give you the time off or they might not because they have they you work for them so you know there were certain opportunities that i did miss and i just thought that because i was going into my adulthood year soon that it would be nice to transition from disney and do other stuff did you ever hate an episode on jesse if so what was the episode and why um i don't think i ever hated an episode the ones that weren't my favorite were when there were like a lot of stunts or let's just say someone I think it was, um, I don't know if it was season one or season two of Jesse, where like, I think it was Debbie and Cameron, they had to fall in a pool of like chocolate. And those scenes just take a really, really long because they got to make sure the continuity is right. They've got to make sure they get all the shots right before they can put someone in the bath of chocolate because once the chocolate's on, it's not going to come off. So it was just stuff like that or even the episode where we had to switch bodies. So like, I think I played... Debbie, Debbie played me, um, like we switch bodies. That was really hard because you really have to take on a character that, that you're not used to. Um, so it wasn't necessarily an episode that I hated, but I guess you could say I couldn't stand like when we had a lot of stunts or anything like that because it would just take a really, really long time. Sometimes like four hours just to shoot one scene and we could have to do seven scenes in a day. Was there any times where you didn't want to keep acting for them? Um, again, I was on the channel for seven years, which is a really, really long time. Um, and there was just a point at the end where um, it wasn't that I didn't want to keep acting for them, but it was just like I just wanted to go on to new things. And I knew that, of course, because I was working for them, I couldn't at that time. Like, I can't start a new show at another network. Like, that's that's just not going to work, um, quite obviously. So, I think it was just mainly that. I was ready for new opportunities, and it was great playing Zuri. But, you know, I was getting older. I started Zuri when I was nine years old. It was seven years. So, it, it was a lot, most definitely. Did you ever have any major issues with anyone on set? No, I did not. Um, you know, of course, and I have to remind people this too, we filmed Jesse for four years. So when you're around the same people every single day, you become like brothers and sisters. And of course, brothers and sisters fight. It's a normal thing. But if any one of us, let's just say, would get into an argument with each other, it was fixed like the next hour. Because that's just how we were. Like, you could like, people got on my nerves. I probably got on people's nerves. That's just a normal thing when you're around them Monday through Friday for hours out of the day. So, no, it wasn't any major issues on set. Um, but yeah, sometimes we just get on each other's nerves, which is like a normal thing. If you have a brother or, you know, I have two sisters, but you guys know, especially if you live with your sibling, they probably get on your nerves sometimes, and that's normal. And especially because I was like much younger than them. And when I was nine, I think they were all 14, 15 and above. And then Debbie was the oldest, she was 18 or 19. Did you ever butt heads with executives over creative differences? Can you talk about the racist experiences if you've ever had any? Um, no, I wouldn't really butt heads because I had to remember at the end of the day, you're playing a character. So let's just say like in the beginning, Zuri was obsessed with tutus and wearing her hair and two pigtails. And me, I was more mature for my age when I was nine years old. So I hated that. I hated wearing pigtails and I hated wearing tutus. But I had to remember I am playing a character. I'm not playing myself. So if that's maybe the only thing, the creative thing. But I told them, I was like, I'm so tired of this. They were like, we know, we know. We're going to have her age up soon. And they did that. They did. They listened to me. So I think like by season two, Zuri wasn't wearing tutus or season three. I can't remember. I think season two, she really stopped. Um, middle of season two. But yeah. And no, I've never had any racist experience on the channel. Again, I know everyone's experience anywhere could be different but mine i did not is there anything new that you learned about yourself while working on disney channel um there was a lot of stuff i learned about myself i realized i can take on a lot more um that i'm used to because again working on that show it's very long hours and then on top of that we had to do school it was like a, a long process um with everything so 
I definitely did learn about myself more and realize that, okay, you can actually do this and push yourself to do this more and other than that, whatever it may be. How did your ADHD impact your time at Disney? Um, I would just say again, like how I said before, that the long scenes were not my favorite and would get on my nerves. It's because also to have ADHD. So with me, I'm always wanting to do something new. It's like even when I go to the gym now, they will have me do a circuit of three rounds of a workout. So it could be push-ups, a plank, some squats, and then one more thing, and you're gonna do that three times. And I get so bored with that. I can't, I, I can't do it. Like I have ADHD. I want to be doing something new and bouncing around. You know all of that stuff. So I would say. Yes, my ADHD got in the way when it came to that because I was tired of doing the same scene over and over and over. And of course you need to because you got to get different camera, uh, camera angles and all of that stuff. But that's the only thing my ADHD affected me with. Or probably school. When I was in school, I could never focus. Like if Cameron or Karen or who Peyton was in the school room because we were just like making jokes and laughing. So yeah. What's something you wanted to do? but they wouldn't allow. Um, I don't think there was really anything they wouldn't allow. I guess the only thing is like I would get certain um, acting opportunities and I just couldn't do them because they were both filming when I would be filming Jesse and then the booby audition for would be filming at the same time. So of course that's obvious. They're not gonna let you do it because they have first dibs when it came, comes to anything like that. So I guess if to answer your question, if that's anything, it would be that. Would you work with Disney again on any future project shows, movies, voice acting? Um, when it comes to shows and movies, I don't think so. I would definitely do like the Disney Plus because like that's a streaming service. It's very much different than the Disney Channel itself. But would I ne would I necessarily do another Disney show? No, I would not. I think I'm I'm I graduated out of that at this point like I'm, I'm 19 I'll be 20 next year I don't think that's something that is in my goals of what I want to do in the future and I always say like if I do something I want to do something different um, that's always my goal to keep progressing so I don't think I would do the same thing again someone said who was your favorite guest star on Jesse I'm trying to think that we've had so many that I really can't even fully remember uh, one of my favorites, of course, when she would guest star is Mrs. Chesterfield, Caroline Hennessy. Um, she's like my favorite person ever and everyone thinks she's so mean because she was like the rude neighbor on the show. She's really, really a sweet in person. So I don't know. I can't remember like any special guests that we've had that I was like super excited over because we've had so many. Um, maybe Chris Paul or Chris Bosch, the basketball player. How was it on set? Did y'all play any pranks on each other? Yes, we did play pranks on each other all the time. Like, I think one time we put chocolate into someone's like soap dispenser. Uh, we, Debbie got us like, I think they were um, fake Nerf guns, but you can put marshmallows in them. We would shoot people with it. Um, we were literally at crazy on set. Like we would do the most. <laughs> so it was always like a really good time. Um, but yeah, we always pranked each other. What was it? I used to do the stupidest things. What I would I would do? I would like go in someone's dressing room and like take their um, shoes. Like if it was for the next scene, I would hide their shoes. Of course, I would give it back to them right before they were about to film. But I would like hide their shoes. I would just do crazy stuff. But we all did crazy stuff like that. When did you start getting noticed by people when you were out places? Um, I would say like a couple weeks to a couple months of Jesse airing. That's when I first started getting noticed, and I'm a really shy person, so it kind of would make me uncomfortable at certain times when people would come up and ask me for a picture, because I'm like, why me? I'm just this regular girl. I just, okay, I film a TV show, but like, what's special about me? But I had to remember that like people literally faithfully watch Disney shows, so it was at first a little bit uncomfortable for me, because it was something that I'm not used to. Like, I was acting before, but I would never get recognize like that so do you still talk to the rest of the cast yes we still communicate of course we don't talk to each other every single day because we're not around each other every single day um like we were before but of course like we have a group chat with everyone in the group chat so sometimes we'll like text and check in with each other comment on each other's posts or sometimes we see each other um out and about at different events 
What was the weirdest situation you've been in while filming? Um, I would say the weirdest is we had an episode where I had to eat pickled pig's feet. And I don't remember if they, they weren't like cooked where like you put them in a grill, like you grill them or anything. And y'all know that I don't, like I eat pork sometimes, but I've never ate a pig's foot before. Like that sounded so nasty and pickled at that. I love pickled things. It literally had the toenail on it and everything. I was freaking out. And of course, like when you have to eat certain things, sometimes they wanna substitute something for something else. But there was nothing that looked like a pig's foot, so I had to eat it. And that was like the most disgusting thing ever. How did my mom like me being on the channel? I mean, at a really young age, I had always wanted to be at Disney, on Disney Channel. Especially when I watched people like Raven Simone, when That's So Raven was a show. And I really looked up to her. So anything that I wanted to pursue in my life, my mom was always supportive of it. If you could do everything over again, would you act? or would you try another career? Um, no, I would still act. I think I would. It's something that I've always been passionate about, so I can't really picture myself doing anything else. But I mean, now that I've grown as a person, I can picture myself doing other things plus the acting. So not just doing one thing, putting my hand in different pots, so. But I wouldn't change anything. Why do so many Disney stars turn out slash go crazy? for a lack of better terms. And what really went behind the scenes and the contract deals? Um, nothing bad went on behind the scenes. The, the contract deals, I was so young, I don't remember. Um, and why do so many Disney stars turn bad? I think that's just like a thing people have, but people are their own, like whoever's on the show, they're their own person. Everyone on the Disney Channel has not gone crazy or been this type of person. I think it's just like who that person is. It just really depends. So there's like so many actors and actresses who have gotten into trouble or have done things in their career. Um, and of course learn from it, but I don't think like all Disney stars turn out crazy. I mean, or do crazy things. I mean, I haven't. And other people I know too, like China Ann McLean, Zendaya, um, Cameron, like a lot of people, like we're we're normal, we're normal. How was it meeting Michelle Obama on Jesse? That must have been so cool. It was. I love Michelle Obama, and she was a fan of Jesse. Her daughters are a fan, so she wanted to be on the show. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And she's really sweet in person. Like she is so chill and laid back. Like of course she has Secret Service with her, so they have to be on guard, twenty five eight, like more than twenty four seven. They have to be right up on her make sure that no one is walking into the set while she's filming because you know people can try things not on our set necessarily anyone would do anything but you know when you have that role as first lady things can happen and I remember like someone who had to fix something on set like just came in without telling Secret Service they're about to go and do their job and they freaked out and she was like chill like he's just trying to do his job chill out so she was really cool and down to earth and like the realest person I've ever met are there some episodes of Jesse that you don't remember filming yes because I was so young and there was over a hundred episodes of Jesse so there are most of them I don't remember like a lot of fans will come up to me and be like oh do you remember that episode and I'm like no, I, I, I don't, but we're just gonna play along. Um, but I think again, it's like we would do an episode a week, Monday through Friday, we are working on the episode, then the next week is, it was a new one. So it was like, we would just forget about it. Did you take any souvenirs from set? Or was there something you would have loved to take home? Um, the one thing I have, I used to have my first outfit. I don't know what happened to it. It might be in storage. I don't know if you've ever seen um, like our first season one pictures. I had on a purple shirt, black leggings and these shoes. I believe I had the, sh I still have the shirt. I think it's in storage. Um, and another souvenir I took was Chubby the Bear. I have him and he's in my room. What was your favorite set? The penthouse, the balcony, etc. 
Um, I would say my favorite set was the penthouse. I love the penthouse. Everyone thinks it was a real penthouse. No, it was not real. It was a built set. Yes, the steps were fake. I mean, they were real steps, but they went nowhere. We didn't go up to another bedroom. Nope. Literally, when you went up the steps and you went out, it was just, you see, the back of the filming area. Like, it was, it was nothing over there. Um, so all the sets were fake. Central Park was fake. Um, another, I'm trying to think of just other questions I get asked that are like really people want to know. Uh, oh, Mrs. Kipling. Mrs. Kipling was real and fake. So she was a real lizard. She was. But they had a fake one when she couldn't like really cooperate or they felt like they didn't need her. They just wanted, cause mind you, it's a wild animal. You can't tell a wild animal, just sit there and like chill and just be in the scene and don't do anything. So sometimes if they felt like if she would move around too much, they would just put the fake one in. If there was a Jesse reboot, would you do it? Um, Probably not, mainly from the fact that I don't think there should be a Jesse reboot because you know, Cameron is not here to be a part of that. So I definitely don't think there will be one. I personally wouldn't do it, but it would be nice like 20 years from now if there was like a little Jesse reunion, kind of how Will Smith did with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. If they didn't like do another episode, they just kind of like sat down and they filmed it and then they aired it on TV. So that could be really fun, but I personally wouldn't do a Jesse reboot. And I don't think there would be one because Jesse was just such an iconic show that it's like, just leave the iconic stuff alone, you know, don't even reboot it. Did you ever have beef with anyone on Disney Channel? No, 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 no. Again, I was so young, who would I be beefing with? Like, honestly, a 25 year old, a 20 year old, a nine year old, be no, like I've never had beef with anyone on the channel. Did you originally want to do a spinoff? Um, yeah, I think I did. I think we all wanted to. We were really sad when Cameron got his own show. Um, what is it, Gamer's Guide on Disney XD? He was still filming on the same lot though, so we would see him almost every day. We would go and visit him, but we really wanted him on Bunked. So, yeah, we did want a spinoff, you know? What was your normal schedule like filming? Okay, so I'm gonna explain this. It could sound a little bit confusing, so we're gonna start with Monday. So Monday we would have a table read. A table read is where you sit at a long table with the writers and the cast members who are in the episode and you read through the script and you say it as if, if you were gonna be on camera filming and they give you different notes or if they wanna change something slightly, they'll do it. Um, so that was like the first thing in the morning. Then we would have a second table read with the producers from Disney, um, anyone who was pretty much had involvement with being on set. So it could be the dialogue coach, like anyone in that form, writers, producers, anyone who would be involved with the writing process or just that stuff, period. Someone who would just take notes for us. So we would do a second table read and that was mainly for the Disney executives and producers. So that was mainly for, they really wanted to see how the episode would go, the producers, and if the producers had any notes or when things change they would do that. Um, there has been episodes where they didn't like it or thought most of it needed to be changed and by Tuesday it was a whole new script. Okay, but besides that, then we're gonna go to Tuesday. Tuesday, um, because you know us cast members in the beginning were underage, we had school. So we would go to school in the morning, like 8, 8.30. I think sometimes we'd get there at 7.30. And mind you, our school room was still in the set perimeter. So it was upstairs. You would walk into our set building. Upstairs was wardrobe, hair, and makeup in our schoolroom. Downstairs was our dressing rooms. And then Crafty and through Crafty was our set where we had filmed. So Tuesday we would do schoolwork. Then we would rehearse. Uh, we would rehearse all day. That We would rehearse every single scene in the script. And then we would have a run through. A run through is when those same Disney executives would come back from the table read, like the big table read, and they would watch it as if we were filming. So pretty much what you guys would see when the episode was done filming, every movement we would make, the whole entire scene, we would reenact that before we would actually film it. So the same thing, we were just dressing our regular clothes and being able to hold a script. Um, so that was that. 
then Thursday, then Wednesday was kind of the same thing. School, rehearsal, table, um, not table read, run through. We would call it a run through when they would come and watch us perform the episode. Then Thursday and Friday, we would film it. So that was our schedule. And then they would give us a new script for next week on Friday, Friday night. We had Saturday, Sunday to go over it. And then Monday again with the table read and that same schedule over and over. What was the process to getting the role? Okay, so I had auditioned for Jesse. I think in my agent's office. Um, I would go on Jesse, not on Jesse. I would go on auditions all the time. So it was just like a regular audition for me. I think I knew I was auditioning for a Disney Channel show, but sometimes I would have like two auditions in a day or four or five in a week. So it was like I would audition then just move on to the next one. So this audition was just another typical one for me. Went in, auditioned for it. Um, and then I went home. Then I want to say a month later, my manager called me saying like, hey, we'll call my mom and I, saying like, hey, um, I don't know if you remember that show you auditioned for called Jesse. They really liked you and want to fly you out for a screen test in LA. So a screen test would be when all the producers were there, all the top people at Disney, um, the executives, everyone were there and they were gonna narrow it down to who they wanted to play the role or potentially pick that person on the day. We wouldn't know on that day if we got it, but they would make their decision that day or the day after. So when I got to LA, I flew there on a Friday, did the screen test. There were like four other girls. Um, that's when I first met Cameron and Karin. They were, I don't know, I don't rem remember if they were on auditioning for the role or if they were doing chemistry reads um, I can't remember or if they were doing the screen test as well but I know I was doing the screen test there was so many girls there probably like five six or they probably even had more but you know after you're done with your audition you leave um, and then what was it I went into the room I did my thing and then some people they were telling to stay or telling them to like, okay, like you're done for the day, thank you. So obviously it wasn't like a good sign that they would tell you to leave. So I was, and not like in a rude way, they just thought probably that person wasn't the best fit for the role. So they kept me there for a while and then they kept giving me like new scripts. Like, okay, we're gonna give you this new script. Can you memorize it in like 10 minutes or like just take a look at it and then come back in the room and do it. And that's what I did. And I could really tell that they did have interest in me because they were asking me a lot of questions and will you do this and this and this and like what you know just they really wanted to get me get to know me personally. So that was kind of the process. I flew back home that Friday night that on Monday I found out I got it. Uh, but anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I just did this Q&A because I wanted to get all these questions out of the way so they we're not asked again, and if they are asked again, I can just tell people, go watch my YouTube video all about it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. I most definitely appreciate it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!